Hello again, this is Ryu Shikaze from the Lightstream.net for another one of Pixels FF7 uh, commentary, L LP commentary tracks. I am joined by Tifa Bell, Satsu, and once again by Tenyo, also from the forums. Hello. We've just beaten the crap out of Dine. I hate this guy. <laughs> I, I, I hate Dine. I resent that. <laughs> Sorry, Satsu, I know you play him in the audio. Yeah. But... Yeah, he's... He's pretty. He's. Well, I think a lot of people. Try Hmm. The only way you can resolve I want to it. Destroy everything. I'm so overly dramatic. Die. What emos would be if they had heavy artillery? Uh, Marlene was going to have them with her. Oh, think about Marlene, you bastard. Think about the children. <laughs> Although technically he did, and just came to the utterly wrong, the most wrong conclusion he could. I like how he's got a gat, like, not even a, a, uh, gatling that you can, you know, fire yourself, a gatling that you have to mount on a, uh, vehicle, a missile, a, an old-timey sniper rifle, and what can I only assume is a grenade launcher over there. Oh, I forgot about the pendant. Why is this not an advent children? Um. Hmm. That's interesting. I never Maybe he just that. hasn't given it to her yet. Like you know, that. in the right time. And <laughs> I like how like the the sun the sun beams are shining now. Oh no, she's limping. Ah! No. <laughs> I mean, we were different in pretty much every way, but we were totally the same. We both had gun arms. That's how we're the same. United by to prosthetic anybody who gun arms. Is, is being stupid about Barrett being in the family after, or, you know, in, in the seventh heaven, he isn't, and those words are exactly why. He, he, he That's why he leaves. Yeah. He feels he's too tainted to do it. Hmm. The whole the whole <laughs> Barrett and Dine thing, I think was that was a great sort of self-contained arc. Although like going to Gold Source I didn't you didn't really immediately see it, but I thought it I thought it seg segued into it quite nicely. <coughs> Don't make me shoot you in the face. <laughs> This is as far as I got an Obstinate Melons comic, was them talking to Mr. Coach. <laughs> I need to check that out again. Oh my god, it's awesome. Uh, I, I'm, I, I sort of just want a, a whole collected version of it. Just, uh, or like for it to be on a, you know, a website that I can actually navigate properly as opposed to DeviantArt. Nah. You can navigate DeviantArt properly if you know how to do it right. <laughs> if you spend a couple of years on DeviantArt. You have to know the secret. <laughs> yeah. You have yes, to but, be uh, a I don't deviant. like sacrificing cats just for browser expediency. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're good in a race, we will let your sentence go. This was the plot of a B-movie. And not even a very good B-movie. Oh goodness, I remember now. Oh my god, the Chocobo races. Yeah, I... the only yeah. thing that keeps this from being, like, pure B-movie schlock is the fact that they took it to the next level. Yeah, um, I remember the first time I played the Chocobo races, no idea what was going on. Absolutely none. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. That makes you on the same level as pretty much everybody else who played the game. Yeah, I, I, I sort and of got through it. not just your first time. I sort of got through it. There. I came first and everything. I was like, yeah, I won. Something. Don't know how I did it, but... <laughs> Alright, let's move on. I like how whenever there's something to do in the game, everybody just turns and says, Cloud can do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, this, I know, that, case, I know that you know because he's like the main character and you control him, but it's like it's funny that... The whole entire cast is like, oh, Cloud can go do it, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm... Cloud can go do the horribly dangerous thing, that'll be fine. <laughs> For no other reason than he's the protagonist. You Although, go, at least hero. In this one, he, he resembles a chocobo. So they think he's got a kinship with him. <laughs> also, I, I forget if this is literally 
the first time you can have it, that Esther appears, which is just odd, because she just shows up. I'll be your manager. Thank you, random lady. Uh, why? Yeah, that that was my first thought. You're... Also, yes, it was very rude. <laughs> she looks funny, but she's pretty good at being a manager. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get how, like, you know, Cloud wins the race, and he gets, like, all six or seven of his friends out of jail. Yeah. Like, I win, and I'm taking all my, my whole gang with me. It, it's sectuple and I'm, pre so. I'm pretty sure they would have been able to bust themselves out somehow. Well, while in the, yeah, while we're in this elevator, we might as well learn how to ride a chocobo in the time it takes to get up these floors. Well, it does take a couple of hours. Yeah. Well, like a fade to black. What the hell is button. a square button, lady? Could you show me, like, oh, on the oh, chocobo oh. where the buttons are? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the, that's kind of the best crazy. games that run you two through that's the crazy. tutorials are the ones where the characters are voiced and they say press the square button to do this <laughs> and that in character um, it is the most wonderful thing to... ever there's been a couple words now imagine there's something something like an L1 trigger the hell's an L1 trigger it doesn't matter just imagine that there is one you knew oh he's all the other jockey Joe, that bastard. Can First name him. basis. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> He's very formal. He bows. They aren't midgets either. Mm hmm. It kind of implies that everybody in the Chocobo races is a hardened criminal. Yeah. I think so. I think that's the point. Yeah. yeah. Which is actually kind of odd if you think about it. Not not that, you know, you know, hardened criminals are Chocobo racers, but that everybody is, that nobody just decides to get in it. Do you actually have to, like, you knock over a bank to get into it? Can you not just go... <laughs> I want to be a trophy. Not just racer. any bank. The bank at the gold saucer, if there is one. Oh yeah. It's like man, well, that's, I, that's, I want to actually, go. Actually, no. The that's why Dio doesn't wear any clothes. Everybody in Chocobo Racing has stolen them, so they can actually start racing. Mm hmm Or you know, you can like just kill a room full of people and be sent down there with the option to race Chocobos. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the same. Man, I go. I want to join the races. I gotta do something that'll get the that get me a criminal. What does that record. sign say? What? Chocobo, Chocobo racing? racing. It doesn't. Or the one to the right. I G H. Hot. <laughs> I G N hot. I think. It's either an H or an N. Or it's, or it see, it's for H. some He's reason it hot. doesn't seem like that's really saying. I mean, maybe it's because my screen is kind of blurry, but the racing doesn't really look like racing. Oh, well, it is racing. That, it's probably just a very horrible typeface. Also, mm. the fact that, that you're on a Mac. <laughs> Shut up! It's nothing to do with a Mac. Well, I, I know, but we, we are at our one Mac uh, insult per, uh, you know, recording quota at this point. <laughs> oh, God! Right, time to what is it. happening? Well, what well, do I do here? I'm just going to press pixel all run. the buttons and see what sticks. <laughs> oh, pixel! I I'm always wanted win. to race a purple chocobo. Yes, oh yeah! Am I the? Oh, oh wow! Careful of four! Careful of four! He's got medio! He's got medio! <laughs> uh, yep. Save <laughs> that rest of that stamina for the end. See, I don't even know what That's that right. red bar is. design these levels had to be smoking something. <laughs> they were smoking like chocobos, but they were. The the only thing I can actually make out colors. are the numbers. I do not understand anything else about it. <laughs> it's just, oh, I'm in the front, and there are these chocobos behind me, and then there are these big, bright, flashy lights everywhere. 
Oh goodness. <laughs> Yay! You won! Fantastic. Oh, that's so cute. That's one of my. I like that uh, chocobo theme. It's one of my favorites. Mm hmm. The victory theme, you mean? Or what? The, the, the victory theme afterwards, or the. the no, no, during the race. racing. Yeah. I see. I'm, I'm quite fond of the, um, the actual uh, chocobo series version of it. Um, it's got all of the best bits of. Final Fantasy VI theme without the completely pointless klaxon that rings in that one. Oh man, the PHS noise. Love it. <laughs> Earth, why did you put air quotes around deserts? Deserts and rivers! And rivers. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> what? what? That's kind of um, what? Yeah, that's my that's my reaction to. You must that's... have a lot of fans that are boys your age. What? <laughs> also, disregarding so the fact that it's, he makes him, it makes it like the most throwaway statement ever. Oh, I just, by the way, I just saw oh, yeah. Sephiroth over there. You know, maybe you should check it out. Well, I mean, no? this this is the man who is either Dio Brando or Ronnie James Dio. So, for yeah. him, meeting Nera is just sort of like Tuesday. Yeah. So, that's the buggy. kind of funny. I just like the buggy. The buggy is Oh, really the cute. buggy. And it really? can drive across quicksand, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of like a funny looking little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Skip the battle. It looks like a little rocket ship on wheels. It pretty much is. <laughs> Isn't this like the only 3D thing on this world map right now? I have no idea. Um, no, it's not the only one. I mean, there's, uh, I mean, granted at this stage in the game, it's the only 3D thing you can get other than your, you know, player model. Yeah. But. Go by the, the villa. Hey. Is that what he's going for? You need Eventually. To but no, he's, he's headed, um... Oh, yeah, 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 He's headed back to pick up Great Gospel. Yeah, the... yeah. Oh, yeah. Hellpad! I know <laughs> that's supposed that's to be Hellpad, but... That it could be an really eye. It doesn't look like an eye. No, it doesn't look like an eye, but I think it's, it's supposed, supposed to be. It's supposed to be an eye. I prefer that it's a Hellpad. <laughs> yeah. That is, that is just how regimented and, and sort of bureaucratic that Shinra is. They don't. They don't have hell mouths that lead to their, you know, demonic portals. They have a pad that is clearly demarcated, <laughs> and if demons appear anywhere else, they will be sanctioned with heavy fines. Ah, uh, corporate machines. Those bastards. Ah, the Junon cannon. Oh goodness. That is such a dumb piece of equipment unless it is capable of intercontinental attacks. I oh, know, right? <laughs> I can't imagine how much they how much they could adjust that thing. Uh -oh. Well, the thing is, at, if you assume it's got, say, a 30 degree angle uh, total, mm -hmm. that doesn't seem like much. But when you take that to an intercontinental ballistic uh, trajectory, you have gotten a, a range that can probably strike, yeah. you know, if, if we started from launching from New York City, 30 degree arc of fire, you can pretty much hit all of Asia. Well, wasn't it built for, um... <laughs> did, he just try, did he just try driving the yes. buggy into the cave? <laughs> yes, he did. I wish you could. It, it, it is a garage. That is really what it is. <laughs> didn't they build the, the build the cannon? The, didn't they build the cannon for, um... For the Wutai War? Or was that something else? Uh, yeah. I believe it was the Wutai War. Yeah. So that explains why they just put it there. It was like, oh, it was just... Yeah, so it's it's pointed yeah. westwards at Wutai, yeah. and is capable of hitting it at least. Yeah. 
which is one of the reasons why, even though BC uh, Before Crisis, for those of you playing at home, has a lot of really stupid bits in it, uh, Avalanche turning the cannon on uh, Midgar is not as stupid as it might seem, because the cannon can fire that far. Mm -hmm. I'd be more confused as to how they actually turned it in the first place. Yeah, but place. it would have to rotate. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily. It, they could just be firing it farther. <laughs> right. We are talking... So it goes around the world. Yeah. We are already the talking about a significant uh, Earth trajectory here when we're talking Junon to Wutai. That's like firing from Britain to Japan. Oh, we got 10 seconds so, left. Yep. Roop. See you next installment. Oh, people. yes. Delicious. My peeps.